how to create a window block to automate your AutoCAD drawings. So this question actually came from Manish Sampur. He says, Lazy Architecto, do one dynamic block for door and windows. This is actually a great question or a great request because windows and doors are probably one of the most used blocks in AutoCAD. So let's create your new dynamic block. First, you'll draw two rectangles and some lines to represent the window at the plan view. Second, select the window and use AutoCAD block command. Here, name your new dynamic block. You can name it dynamic window one. Make sure the following settings are checked and pick your block base point. Then double click on the block to access the block editor. Now, this is just a normal AutoCAD block. So, how do I make a dynamic block from this block? You make a dynamic block by adding parameters and actions. And for this, you will need the block authoring palette. So, if you don't see it on your screen, you can find it on your ribbon, simply click on it to start using it. First add a visibility parameter by clicking on it and clicking again to place it next to your window block. Now go to your ribbon and click on the visibility panel to start adding your new visibility states. Remember to have checked show all existing objects in new state. Now simply press OK now a good habit when working with AutoCAD blocks inside the block editor is to have them on the layer 0 and with color by block. Now use the linear parameter by picking two points on your block So you just added a linear parameter for your block window length. Great! Another good habit when working with dynamic blocks is to name your block parameter. So this is to avoid problems in the future. So do it! But before, type PR to access the property palette. Select your linear parameter and change the number of grips from 2 to only 1. Now go ahead and rename your linear parameter. Now that we added the parameter, it is time to add some actions for this dynamic block window. You'll first need the stretch action, so simply click on it. Following the instructions on your command line, select your parameter to apply it the stretch action. Then specify the parameter point, specify first corner of a stretch frame and opposite corner. Finally, select 
key objects and press enter. Another good habit I want to share with you is always test your dynamic block whenever you add a new action. This is so important if you want to avoid future problems with your dynamic block. So go ahead and click test block. As you can see the stretching parameter in your dynamic block works. At this moment your dynamic block window with one division is completed. So go ahead and select two divisions visibility now. Here draw two inches mullion for your window block right in the center of your window. Then use the wipeout command to mask the lines behind it. I'll erase the existing mullion and replace it with a brand new one. This is to avoid any future problems with a wipeout showing in front of the block. Now click on visibility mode, select the linear parameter and click on make visible on visibility panel from your ribbon. Time to test your AutoCAD dynamic block. As you can see, the window mullion it's not moving to keep center with the block. So it is time for you to add a move action. Simply click on it, select your parameter, specify the parameter point and finally select your objects to move and press enter. So go ahead and test your block now. As you can see the center mullion is moving now but not the way that you wish. This is because you need to change your dynamic block distance multiplier. So select your move action icon and from the property palette change the distance multiplier to 0.5. Now go ahead and test your AutoCAD window block again. As you can see your dynamic block window works perfectly and we are almost done. We only need to do our three divisions window block. So go ahead and select it. Make parameters visible. And turn off visibility mode. For this visibility state, draw a line and use the divide command to get two points where you place your new window movements. If you don't see your points, simply use ddp type command Now you can start drawing your two mullions for your new window.
you can now erase the line and points to finally apply the move actions to your new window movements the same way that we did before the only difference would be that you have one third as a distance multiplier for your first window movement and 0 0.6667 for your second window mullion. Since this is the result of 1 minus 0 0.3333 or one third. So click on save block and close block editor. Time to test your new AutoCAD dynamic block. Awesome. Hey, I'm Irving. Here's another dynamic vlog for you. And subscribe for more AutoCAD vlogs.